festivities wrapping up. The crowd is electric, and we'll be back to get it going right after this. From Minute Maid Park in Houston, MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. A lot going on in this series as we get ready for Game 3, Singy. Man, it's been fun so far, Boog, that's for sure. After splitting the first two, Game 3 takes on even more meaning than usual. You don't want to be the team that drops this one and then be faced with having to win two games in a row in order to take the series. That's tough. And yeah, the pressure on the starting pitchers is big in this one. Each of them is being counted on to come through with a quality performance, hoping to save some of that bullpen for really critical games coming up. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And on the mound in this one, Christian Javier. Yeah, got the W last time out. Six innings, a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. Ready to go now. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. The center fielder, Harrison Bader. And the pitch. That one at 95 missed up top. So we're off and running in game three. The 1 0. That's ball three. And a strike. Packed house here at Minute Maid. Next pitch is inside, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. That misses, nope, and it's a ball and a strike. Singing DJ LeMahieu earned a pretty cool distinction when he won the American League batting title with the Yankees in 2020. He became the first player in the modern era to win a batting title in both leagues. Remember, he won with the Rockies the batting title in the National League in 2016. That's in there. That is strike two. Yeah, and when he won that title with the Rockies, a lot of people thought it was the Denver effect and just the amount of base hits that you can get in Coors Field, but he proved everyone wrong. Over to Abreu. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. The wine of the pitch. And that one missing low. Ball. Off the plate inside. Three balls, no strikes. Strike. 
That's through there for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down in order, go to Yankees. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. This is the American League Division Series on the show. here in Houston and towing the slab in this one Luis Severino what do you look for here well Boog he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there guy knows how to pitch he's got good stuff sometimes it can be even plus stuff first time through the order though I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters ready to go for the last half of the inning now it's the right fielder Kyle Tucker pitch Severino a former all-star he features a four-seam fastball a change-up a slider a cutter and he works in a two-seamer Severino kicks deals just off the outside edge and that's ball one Severino that's in there one and two got him swinging for the strikeout blew the express right by his bat for strike three Michael Brantley stands in First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a good eye there. Next pitch misses way outside. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off, two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The two, two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Deal one. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pull that one right in the direction of the shifted defense, but no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and he just misses. Luis Severino, when healthy, he is one of the top pitchers in the American League. When he's going good, he's getting ahead in the count. I love that his mechanics are very simple, very repeatable delivery. Kicks and deals. And misses inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 
2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Out towards right center field. Judge is there. Drops into the glove. And that ends the inning. One left for Houston. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Houston, here's a big power threat. Giancarlo Stanton. One of the things to remember about Giancarlo Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. Javier, back to work. Swings and misses. That's strike one. The pitch on the ground to third and foul ball. Going to now swings and misses, struck him out. Toughest pitch to hit fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Labor Torres up to the plate. Strike one. Second inning here, no score. Next one is off the play, and now it's even one and one. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone, Chris, gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. The pitch. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is gonna have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the bond, step out of the box, Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll circle the bases, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And here is Anthony Rizzo. There's a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Lifted in the air, right field. Tucker should have it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. You're watching the American League Division Series on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park, go? bottom of the go? inning, and here's the first baseman, the first base Jose Abreu. Jose. Oh, Abreu, a really hard worker, a guy who takes his craft seriously in the batting cages and on the field during batting practice. He's always trying to stay in the big part of the field, not trying to have a home run derby during BP, but understands that those are typically mistakes uh, when you're trying to hit line drives. And strike two. Oh, 
Next offering in the dirt. And the count one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Next offering upstairs. pitch stays alive so all filled up Severino this one popped up foul ground first base side and there's one away no oh, that was a pitch you got to crush unbelievable that he missed it right there and I'm telling you he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat Here's Alex Bregman. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but... Now they have to work around it and get two more. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Kicks and fires. And now the count is even. One ball, one strike. And a ball evens the count. <laughs> On the ground, two ball. Over to Torres. What a double play that was. Inning over. One error in the inning, but nothing more. We played two full. Yankees won, and the Astros nothing. When I come out, they run out. I'll be working that stage to the sun out. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera, the left fielder with good range, 24 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. Going to count one and two. That one not close. And the count's even at two. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. Goes down looking. 
Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. pitch slider misses outside that one missed the punch out there Snap throw. Oh, it's a pretty nasty curveball right there, and the hitter didn't look comfortable at all. Clearly fooled. Tried to check his swing and went around, but it would have been called a third strike anyhow. That's how dirty it was. Nice pitch for the punch out. Bader at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. He swings and fouls one off. And now two balls and a strike. That clips the corner. Two balls, two strikes. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Everything came together for him. The pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Runner at first with two away. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. Throw first. Bader dives back. LeMayhew measures six feet, four inches, 220 pounds, and he was awarded a gold glove in 2023. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in war. Chris D.J. LeMayhew, given name David John LeMayhew, some people call him by the nickname The Big Fundy. What's the big fundy, partner? Well, it's short for the big fundamental because he's so good fundamentally, both oh, at dead. the plate and in the field. Javier checks over to first, and he's back. Yo, Juan. And that one fouled off. Bader off of first with two away. Picks up strikeout number seven. The Yanks lead one. They lead it one nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yaner Diaz. Severino back to work. Hop foul out of play off to the right. The pitch. In the air, center field. Bader should have it. And he makes the catch. One away. Batting number. The center fielder. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. And first offering is fouled off.
Right hander kicks deals. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And the 0 2. At the ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Riding to the plate. Way outside. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Two, two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Good eye right there. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Here comes a 3-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Got him swinging. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Here's Kyle Tucker. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Rizzo has this one sized up. He makes the grab. That is the inning. Nothing doing there for Houston. They're down 1 0. Out of the fourth, here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. The right-hander back to work. Out there to center. McCormick trying to get there. One up, one down. And here is Giancarlo Stan. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Here's Glaber Torres. His first at bat was a strikeout. On the corner for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And he deals. Runner takes off, and that one fouled off.
Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And strike two. Stan off of first with two away. Next offering is down low. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Off the mark there. Ball two. And the righty deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. One left for the Yankees, but they're on top, one nothing. Bottom four. So now the Astros' designated hitter, Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike. 0-1. One, one. And he pumps it a strike. Here's the 0-2. Ball oh. one there. One ball, two strikes. And a 1-2. Fights it off, you'll see another. Righty delivers. Just missed. It's a good take. The 2-2 two -two now. And he grounds one to the right side. Torres gets it to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Jordan Alvarez. And he's already singled in this game. Chris, it's pretty amazing to think that Jordan Alvarez could actually be a Dodger. The Dodgers originally signed him in 2016, and a little over a year later, the Astros acquired him for Josh Fields. Pretty good deal for Houston. Pitch misses, and one and one. Great deal, and you see Jordan Alvarez really emerging as that David Ortiz type of designated hitter. Even though he likes playing left field, uh, this is a guy that has become a true force in that position if you want to call him the DH. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Inside three and two the count. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Hit on the ground to the right side. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. Now that's second base. Hope. Oh, 
Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. A little bit low. And here it comes. And that's in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And now two and two. Rip to third. Slings it across, and that'll do it. Nothing doing here this half. We played four. Yankees won, and the Astros nothing. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Anthony Rizzo. And the right hander back to work. In the dirt, and that's ball one. There's a strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. He swung over top of the curveball. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Cabrera batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him. That's his second strikeout. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner from that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's Jose Trevino, struck out swinging his first time. There's a strike. Jose Trevino singing a gold glover and a guy that really does a great job presenting the ball. Yeah, breakout year in 2022, led all catchers with 21 defensive runs saved. Two outs. And yeah, that's outside. And Boog, the Yankees had been looking for some stability behind the plate for a while, and Trevino stepped up in a big way, pretty unexpected as well. Out in front and foul to the left side. It misses. It's a strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound.
and welcome back. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Jose Abreu. And the pitch. Just missed. And now two and nothing. And fouled off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Two and one now. Severino. Popped up right side. Rizzo settles under it. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it out. Now it's Alex Bregman. In for a strike. Going one. Going one. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Owen oh 2 now. In the dirt. Throw to first. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Now there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Jeremy Pena getting ready to hit. He hit into a double play his first time up. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Oh, and two now. Right side, hard hit. On to first. Play made, that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. And it remains one nothing. Here at Minute Maid Park. And now Bader up to the plate. Bader, 28 years old. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Javier, back to work. Just missed. The 1 0. That's down and in. Activity in the bullpen. Hector Neris appears to be getting loose. Montero, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The why to kick the pitch. Upstairs. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. There's a strike, three and one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been that able to two. commit to one velocity and stay there. Yeah, the right hater deals. Good plate oh. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches mm -hmm. and Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. LeMahieu in the box again. Takes a strike. 
I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. This one blasted deep to left, way out of here, home run. He circles the bases, and they boost their lead. It's 3-0. High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall, his top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Christian Javier is done, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Rafael Montero. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Yeah, the hard-throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, and it starts with Aaron Judge. And Judge spoils that one. one and a foul ball you know these Yankees really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one it's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work they really made that opposing starter work in this one ran his pitch count off and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen there comes an 0-2 to judge and then skips in the dirt. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Here's Stanton now. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. That hey. one's in there, 0 on 1. Still only one out here in the inning. The next offering misses. And the count even one and one. John Carlos Stanton, who won the National League MVP in 2017, and then was traded immediately to the New York Yankees. Yeah, the last two players to win the MVP and then be traded were both traded to the New York Yankees. Alex Rodriguez, John Carlos Stanton. Kicks and deals. And now two and two. Chris, and remember, Giancarlo Stanton won the 2016 Home Run Derby at Petco Park. Yeah, he made that place look like a wiffle ball field. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try and tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Caught him looking for the K. Here is Glaber Torres. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That misses the zone, and the count is one and one. And that's in for a strike. And a 
pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The one one is fouled off. The one two. This one high in the air to left center. McCormick has it sized up. Makes the catch inning over. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 3-0. Bottom of the sixth inning, and here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. The catcher. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Bader makes a nice run of catch. Now got it. Center fielder. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Good eye right there. Next pitch inside. And now 2-0. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Fastball for a strike. Two and one now. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. They say it went. Two ball, two strikes. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Stays alive. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And that's ball four. That pitch, is in. pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's like the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Kyle's brother Preston got a little bit of time in the big leagues. Pretty good left handed hitter, played his college ball at the University of Florida. In the air, out towards right center. Judge is under it. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Now, now the, the designated hitter, Michael Brantley. Brantley. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. Brantley, multi-time all-star, a member of the 1,000 hit club. And he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. First pitch, just misses. You know, Blue, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Next pitch misses, now 2-0. Next offering is downstairs. You're Don Alvarez. Hoping for a chance, he would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat. They'd love to give him a shot here. Here's a 3-0. And ball four to a board. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. 
Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. McCormick, the lead runner at second. Brantley on at first with two down. Oh and ball one. Excellent arm action on that two-strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. And a one-two. Got him! Snap throw. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. On to the seventh now in game three. Yankees three and the Astros nothing. Hector Neris on to pitch out of the pen here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Bobby Witt Jr. stepping in now for the Yankees. And a pitch. When it tries to hold up, appeal to first, he did not go around. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. And that's down and away. Three, two now. The three, two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Check on the runner. No. Went back easily. Nobody out. Runner at first. Now a screamer into the outfield. Stretches out and hauls it in. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Oswaldo Cabrera digs in now. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Throws to second for one. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Midway in inning number seven. And it's time to stretch. Yankees three. And the Astros nothing. Back here in Houston. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman. Jose Altuve. Pitch. 
And the slider catches the zone. Bullpen activity starting up now. Michael King, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Peralta, a left-hander, also throwing. And now the 1 Hot shot to third. Sends it to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now bat first base Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu up to hit. That's hard hit in the line. Judge makes the grab. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over now, it, but sometimes you hit it too hard base. and right now at left. someone. You're looking for one of those right. boom right. hits to get a knock sometimes. And now it's Alex Bregman. First pitch it's doesn't nice. find the zone. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. A wind and a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Battling here as he fouls it away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Next offering misses. Full count now. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And he deals. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail it here, three nothing. A new pitcher in the game, Ryan Stanek. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Stepping in for the Yankees, Jose Trevino. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And here it comes. There's a strike. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. And he'll one. There's a swing and a miss. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he steals strikes for his pitcher. The 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Bader Whoa, stands man. in now, looks at that one inside.
Next pitch inside, 2 and 0. Two zero, and he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Reaching for it, makes the catch. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. This is off the inside, and it's one to know. And that's outside. Next offering is fouled back. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. One, two, three, go the Yankees. But they lead it 3 nothing. I remember as a child when music made me smile. Some people called it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this kind of stuff because I think they call it rock and roll. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Well, these Astros just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. The good news is they're putting balls in play, but the bad news is most of them have been on the ground for easy outs. Nothing is finding a hole at all, and they're having a real hard time elevating the baseball. Next offering away upstairs. No There's a strike, and it's two and one now. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. And now it's even up. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering is foul back. Next one just misses, and the count's full. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Up next, up, 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 up. The catcher. So next up for Houston, Yainer yeah. Diaz. Way high with that one. And that is ball one. And there's a strike. One and one. That's in there. And it's one and two.
And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch is outside, ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swing and a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. He was all over that one. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that dot. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Luis Severino will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Clay Holmes comes on trying to close it out. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. And that's in there for strike one. These fans, they are... Ready to cheer about something. At the belt and fires. Inside corner for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Next pitch just misses. And a count one and two. Outside. Just off the outside edge. Michael Brantley waiting to hit for Houston. Three two. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And Tucker is retired. And that is that. So the Astros leave one. They trail in this one, 3 0. New pitcher on now, Phil Maton. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now pick number 99, Aaron Judge. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Mayton in his seventh season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slurve, a slider, and he works in a sinker. And a pitch. Chop to third. Rolls across the diamond. Now one gone in the ninth. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. That one is upstairs. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Brian Abreu, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up.
The pitch. There's the strike at the knees. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Righty to the plate. That one off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. And that's downstairs and outside. Three and two now. That one ripped. McCormick calls it in, and there's two away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Torres stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering upstairs. Kicks and fires. Just off the inside edge. Swing and a miss. And now three and two. Now that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And the righty deals. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And next for New York, Bobby Witt Jr. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Next pitch is outside. And there's a strike in the outside corner. He goes down looking. The Yanks lead one, but they lead it three nothing. And welcome back, Michael Brantley to start things off. The designated hitter, Michael Brantley. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Rizzo, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The left Alvarez. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Alvarez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. 
He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. On the ground, Witt fires over to first. And they're down to their last out. Now back, second baseman, Jose And next to hit for Houston, Jose Altuve. Ball one there. Next pitch is in the dirt, and that's ball two. Swings through that one out in front that time. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Two one now. They're down to their final strike. Two two now. Towards first. Throw to first, ball game. And the Yankees use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boo, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. A shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us.